want to talk to Kyoga. Kasane, good. Do you mind if I butt in? Haruka, you were listening? Yeah, I agree with everyone. So I want you to know you can always talk to me. Friends. I've never wanted friends before, but... There's a limit to what I can do or think of by myself. I'll try to rely on other people a little more. Kasane? Gemma, did you read my message? I came to talk to you. It seems like you still feel responsible for what happened to Naomi. It isn't your fault she turned into another. There's no point in you blaming yourself. You came all this way just to say that? Well, you felt guilty enough to come all the way here. <sighs> You're right. It's probably presumptuous of me to think it was all my fault. Still... I can't forget what happened to her. It's sad to think this is how I behave after the decades I've fought. I don't think it's sad, just surprising. I thought your experience would allow you to cope better than this. That's what I thought. You don't have time to falter when a friend dies in battle. Our role as members of the OSF is to bottle up our feelings no matter what happens, and fight until the last other is killed. But you haven't been able to control your emotions. Do you have any idea why? I must be at my limit. I've lost too many friends. Friends of many years and rookies like Naomi. While everyone else lost their lives, I'm left standing here. My retirement drawing closer. You make it sound like it's bad that you're alive. I feel guilty. The young people with promising futures die. Someone like me with not many years left is allowed to live. That's why I was so committed to protecting the young members. I know that you wanted to protect Naomi. However, there's no point in regretting the past that way. You're better off focusing on what needs to be done right here and now. I know that. Gamma, behind you! <laughs> Good reaction. The enemy was just weak. I can still fight for now. What do you mean, for now? I'm old. I'll have to retire soon. When I retire, they'll stop administering the anti-aging drug. My body will begin to grow old, and my power will gradually diminish. As someone who's had to rely on my power for decades to survive in battle, I'm a little worried about its strength diminishing. I do remember reading something about that. It might be the distant future for you, but it's just around the corner for me. Many retired soldiers have a hard time adjusting to civilian life after being in the OSF for so long. There are those who have nowhere else to go after society throws them out. No family or friends to rely on. Are you saying you'll be one of them? Yeah, I spent most of my life in the OSF. I can't do much other than fight. How is someone like that supposed to live outside the military? I'm ashamed to say that I'm afraid of that day coming. If I have to live on carrying these feelings for my fallen comrades, then I think I'd rather die in battle. I'm sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. I don't understand. If you're serious about wanting to die, then I misjudged you. You say that you're the only one left alive, but it's not like you've survived this long on your own. Even my sister was worried about your health. And you just roll over and die? That's so selfish. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <sighs> what is he thinking? Naomi was so concerned about him. It's not like I haven't thought about giving up my own life if it could help save her. But that would only make her sad. I thought he would have figured that out. Kasane, you've come to see me. Let me guess, you've finally fallen for this sly fox's charms. 
disturbing things do tend to stand out. Ouch. I demand an apology and compensation. Therefore, I'd like you to come to Kikuchiba with me. Kikuchiba? What are we going to do at a ruin overrun by others? I mean, if I suggest we go to Musubi's for a talk, you just turn me down. It doesn't matter where we do it. I hate meaningless conversations. Just think about it. If there are others, we can fight. It wouldn't be meaningless if we were also gaining valuable fighting experience. If you don't want to talk, you can just focus on the fighting. That way, there's no wasted time. I can't imagine I can improve my skills training with you. Our power disparity is too great. Seriously? Come on, just humor me, would you? Please, Kasane? Why does he want me to go with him? As irritating as this is, this might be a good opportunity to finally get him to tell me about his past. Okay, if it's training, then I'll go with you. That's the spirit. Don't let my graceful knife skills make you fall in love with me. Since I'm absolutely not interested, could you fight invisible the entire time? There's no sign of any others. What, really? They're usually everywhere. Of all the days they're not around. This is no different than talking at the hideout. Let's go back. Wait, wait, wait! We'd be wasting a trip if we just turned around and went home. <sighs> Fine. Atta girl. Don't worry, I won't bore you. There's also something I wanted to show you. What? It's a surprise for later. Come on, this way. Well, our plans may have gone awry, but at least we can have some fun without getting interrupted by others. Our goal was combat training. Having them around was the whole point. Even you must have realized that the combat training was nothing more than an excuse. Oh, this really brings back memories. This area used to be a shopping district. I always came here with friends to blow off steam. Now it's nothing but a bunch of sad rubble. It gives me a strange feeling. I mean, I guess to someone young who wasn't around back then, this would look like nothing but a pile of rubble. Somewhere nobody lives anymore. Nothing left but visions. It's almost like... The entire city has been left to haunt this area. I know it sounds absurd, but in a way, it's actually pretty funny. He's doing it again. He's lost his levity. I wasn't just imagining it. Oh, there it is! An arcade game? Not just any arcade game. You operate a crane to grab a prize, and if you manage to drop it down the hole, you get to keep it. This used to be real popular back in the day, especially with couples. This is why we came here. Let's see if it still works. It's plugged in, but it's not responding. Maybe it's broken. Wait. No, it's just locked. All right, time to use the hacking program I borrowed from Arashi. That sounds illegal. This place may be in ruins, but are we allowed to just operate this and take its prize? Don't worry about it. It's been left like this forever, so nobody's going to get mad if we take a prize or two. Oh, nice, it worked. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Now tell me which one you want. I'll grab it for you. There are only plushies. I don't really want any of them, but if I had to choose one, then that one, I guess. Okay, say no more. Consider it yours. I used to play these games all the time back in the day. I'm basically an expert now. Start it up, turn here, and now! He dropped it. Uh, I'm not giving up yet. One more time. This time I'll get it for sure. He hasn't even gotten a single one yet. At the rate this is going, I'll never be able to ask him about himself. Can I get a turn? Okay, but this is more difficult than I thought it'd be. You know, I bet the store manager put the prize in a position where it's hard to get. Hey, you're cheating! All my hard work vanished like tears in the rain. You brute forced a locked machine with a hacking tool. So who's the real cheater here? <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. Okay, then. I know this just started to feel like a date, but I think it's time we call it a day. Oh, 
Were you two together? Oh boy, looks like we're caught. Well, cat's out of the bag. I guess there's no sense in hiding our secret now. Secret? What were you doing? He thinks we were on a date, which I in no way wanted any part of. If it were a date, well, I'd call it a complete failure. Kasane, why would you say that in front of me? What part of it was a failure? Naomi told me dates were supposed to be fun. That wasn't fun at all. Oh, that's too bad. Well, you're a little too young to go on a real date anyways. And I am an old geezer. In fact, I'm old enough to have a kid your age. Now that I think about it, the major here would be more suitable for me. Then why don't you treat it like an outing with your daughter? What's the fun in that? It's not like I actually want to go on a date with him. I can't imagine it'd be more fun than this last one. Whoa now, that sounds like a challenge to me. Okay, give me another shot. <sighs> Do whatever you want. I'm glad you two are getting along so well. Arashi, why are you sleeping here? Didn't you say you were going to check the SAS? Arashi is currently in maintenance. Please wait until services resume. Skipping out on work? Arashi, you bring lazy to a whole new level. Shut up! People need to get plenty of rest or they can't work. Plenty of rest? Oh, look at the time. It's almost time to eat. No wonder I'm so hungry. What a stupid alert system. Wow, so you can't even be bothered feeling hungry? Well, I was going out to eat. If you're hungry, then how about joining me? Eat out? Listen, rookie, the city is full of danger. You could find yourself surrounded by civilians or hounded by the crows. Fans in the press. Must be tough being famous. Basically, you're saying... It's a pain. I thought so. We don't need to go out. We have our rations. It gives us the minimum essential nutrients we need. Isn't that wonderful? You care about efficiency that much? Of course. And these rations can be eaten right away. It's my treat. Want to join me? It seems like you're absolutely against going outdoors. Okay, let's eat here then. Ah, this soda hits the spot. There is no better beverage in the world. Glad to hear it. By the way, do these rations taste a little too salty to you? You think so? I'd understand if it were heavily seasoned, but I'm just getting a strong taste of salt. It's not very balanced. Hmm, that's surprising. I thought you were more like me and didn't really care about taste that much. Hmm, now that you mention it, I don't think I used to care. I bet it's because of Naomi's cooking. My taste probably changed without me noticing. She likes to cook too? Handmade hair clip, homemade cooking. She sounds like quite the homemaker. She liked doing it since we were little. And I always helped with the taste testing. I see. That's why these rations are not to your liking. It's not that I don't like them. I just said it's not very balanced. It could just be that my palate is more refined now than it was before. Good grief. Are you really bragging to me about your sister right now? How are you two so close when you're not even related by blood? Because my sister was so kind. There's no way I would have survived in that house without her. Did something happen with your family? I guess. Don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful they took me in. But my parents don't see me as family. Not Naomi, though. She's always been there for me. Protecting me. And that's why I wanted to do everything in my power to protect her no matter what. I don't know Naomi that well. We only got to fight together a short time. And this might come off as rude, but that hair clip and Naomi's cooking you hold so dear, I just don't understand their worth. However, hearing you tell me about them has helped me to get to know Naomi. You really found yourself a good sister. Yes, I did. Thank you for the food. Okay, we've gone through the chore of eating. Time to resume services. Seems like you're ready to go back to work. Before I forget, you can pay me back for the rations by helping me out with a little job later. What? Oh, just hearing you talk about Naomi, I sense that you're someone who has a strong sense of duty. 
When someone protects you, you protect them back. In other words, since I treated you to a meal today, you'd want to pay me back. Or else it wouldn't sit right with you. I'm really just doing it for your sake. I'll let you know what you have to do later. Now, I've got to go. Oh, that's so unfair. Arashi! This must be what she had in mind the whole time when she said she'd treat me. She really got me. Nobody is better at slacking off than she is. There. This doesn't solve everything, but at least he won't ask me about it. He's someone I may have to kill eventually. I need to make sure we interact as seldom as possible. Or else I might lose my nerve when the time comes. <sighs> He's kind of strange. He's not like Naomi or Captain Seto. It's not like I found him especially interesting, so why couldn't I just ignore him? Oh well, he can't contact me anymore. For now, I just need to focus on Naomi. So, about our mission from the Seiron government, I wrote in the report that we were interrupted and were unable to complete our assignment. You mean I did? Honestly, I only did it because nobody around here bothers with the paperwork. Wow, Shiden, you're so reliable. Keep up the good work. Hey, watch it. I wonder if they're going to give us a new other suppression assignment. Karin made it seem like they would. Which reminds me. I'm curious about what Karin said in the future. It was... Why now? If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Finally. I can finally save her. Piecing together Karin's statements, Kasani's power must be a clue on how to reverse metamorphosis. Major Kyoka? Where did that come from? Well, maybe not. Karin did mention that we should have arrived earlier, so... He could have copied Kasane's psychokinesis whenever he wanted, but he hasn't. If what he wants is the Red String's power, then the matter is not about finding a cure. He would take time and... Calm down, Kyoka. Huh? What's gotten into you? You almost sounded like Arashi when she's actually focused. Really? That's strange. I didn't think I was acting any differently. Trying to put all the pieces together, maybe you just fell into a trance. Whatever it was, your line of thinking was interesting. It does seem like Karin thinks Kasane is the key. Yes, she is very important to Major General Karin. There's no mistake about it. Do you think the reason I came to Seiron is because of Karin too? That's certainly a possibility. Wouldn't rule it out. What do you think he's planning? Sorry to interrupt, but Kasane Platoon has been given an other suppression assignment. There's a high probability for others appearing in the Mizuhagawa New City Development District. Head there immediately. You heard her. Let's head over and take care of this first. Then we can talk. You're right. There's no sense thinking about it now, but we should all be careful. This is the area the other report projected. Yes, our assignment is to exterminate any others that appear here. Why send us all the way out here? You would think there were other places more worth protecting. Believe it or not, this area is actually a trade route to Togetsu. Yeah, I know it may not look like much, but it's actually pretty important. Togetsu may be an isolated religious state, but apparently trades happen when interests are aligned. In other words, the extent of the relationship is strictly business. So, what does everyone want to do? Wow, did my ears just deceive me? I think Kasane just asked us for our opinion. Normally, she'd just rush out looking for others. I see. No one has any ideas. In that case, let's do what we normally do. 
Wait, nobody said we didn't have any ideas. Kagero, stop teasing Kasane. My bad, your highness. Don't get your panties in a bunch. My panties Who cares? Anyways, if you have an idea, speak up. As for ideas, I... No, we don't have any. I hacked the system to see what the transport schedule was today, but I couldn't find anything around this time. That means we can concentrate on exterminating the others. Everyone, stay vigilant and move forward. Wait! I just received a request for reinforcements. A transport team is being attacked by an other up ahead. Wow, really? Because Arashi literally just said there weren't going to be any transports now. It definitely wasn't on the schedule. If there's a transport team, it means this was off the books. The timing is too convenient. There's a chance it could be a trap. Should we wait and see first? Haruka, is this reinforcements request coming from Seiron? Yes, it's an official OSF request. Then we have to answer. We're part of the Seiron OSF now. You're right. Besides, we can't just abandon people who need our help. Let's do what we can. Well then, time to find out what's waiting for us. Let's get this show on the road. I found our target. Look, that other over there. I'll do this, Sheena. I can bring the water at Are you okay? Being wet makes it hard to move. There! Now! Useless. It's over. Yeah. 
me, Arashi. Kasane. You got this, Kasane. Shiden's electrokinesis might work. Kasane, why don't you use hypervelocity with SAS? Thank me later. <laughs> it was thanks to my power. Oh, I'm soaked. I don't want to move.
do this, Sheedan. Right? Are you with Kasane Platoon? Everything should be fine now that you're here. Don't talk. You're wounded badly. I'll fix you up as best I can. I'm okay. But you have to help my teammates first. The truck is still under attack. It's another. But it was... human. Those Suo bastards transformed someone into an other and... <laughs> uh, transformed into another? This is a critical mission. You have to protect the truck and get it to the Supernatural Life Research Facility. <sighs> this is valuable information. Wait here for rescue. We'll take care of everything. Haruka! I've already requested a rescue team. The Supernatural Life Research Facility? Isn't that the lab Naomi was in? Let's hurry. They won't get away with turning people into others. Oh, I wasn't going to go rush off on my own again. Are we all on board? I hate to agree, but I'm all for hurrying. Thank you, Sheedan. No need for thanks. Now come on, or I'm gonna leave you behind. Kasane is finally showing her vulnerable side. Or maybe she's just expanded her horizons. <laughs> I'm so happy we're all getting along. Now, let's go help the transport team. That must be the truck. I don't see any members of the transport team. Hey, look, by the truck, there's someone there. They're hitting it with a stick or something. This is a damn sturdy door. Can't even hack it. Just break it down already. My arms are getting tired. Is that Kodama? What are you doing? Well, if it isn't the traitors, how have you been? Hmm? Why do you look so scared? Kodama, did you turn someone into an other and make them attack this transport team? I mean, this was headed for the Seiron Research Facility. I figured it had to have something important. You're trying to find out what they're researching by digging through their cargo? I swear, your methods are insane. It's the fastest way. So anyway, can you let me go just this once? Pretty please. Yeah, I don't think so. That's too bad. Well, I guess we're doing this. Don't get mad at me when I kill you. This'll be fun. Turning people into others. How could you do You're something good. so awful? Oh, don't get so angry. I meant well. Mostly. Do this, 
see them. Give it to me, Arashi. I need your help. before. You all deserve a nice round of applause. Kodama, throw down your weapon and don't make any sudden movements. We have a lot of questions for you. Well, you do have me surrounded. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. Just kidding. What? You expected I wouldn't have a plan? What? <laughs> bye bye now. Looks like she got away. At least the truck seems fine. Do you want to escort it back to the facility then? Hmm. It did seem like it was an important mission from what the transport team member said. Maybe we should. Then I'll contact the superiors about the suppression assignment. Wait. I'm getting a reading nearby. It's not the Seiron OSF. It could be more of Kodama's men. Well, we obviously don't want anyone following the truck. So I'll go check it out and stop them here if it comes to that. Oh, I'm definitely tagging along, Major Kyoka. If it's an ambush, then I'm just the man for the job. It's my specialty. Arashi, please get this truck back to the Supernatural Life Research Facility. And it's go time. Good luck, kids. Weren't we supposed to discuss things first? Let it go. Anyway, we'll leave that to Kyoka and Kagero. We have a truck to transport. Does it still run? Sure does. It's got a few scrapes, but nothing serious. The truck bed's reinforced armor is full of dents. And Kodama did all this with just a metal pipe. Unbelievable. It's just stupid how incredibly strong she is. Hmm. Where have you been? Hurry up and unload the truck. I need to go get the lab ready. Great, now they're making us do manual labor too? This is turning out to be more of a pain than I thought. Haruka, any word from Kyoka or Kagero? Not yet. It's hard to get a good signal to Mizuhagawa. I think it's because of the extinction belt above. I see. Then let's get this over with. Can you all hear me? Great, you're all right. What about Kagero? You know me. I normally say I'm ship shape, but we've actually found ourselves in a tight spot. It wasn't Kodama's men in Mizu Hagawa. It was Yuito Platoon, and they noticed the truck. Yuito Platoon? Did you two? Yes. We couldn't have anyone following the truck. So we did what we had to do which was fight them. It was only to buy some time, though. Then we used Major Kyoka's duplication and my invisibility to lose them. Which is how the story would go in a perfect world, but they've got Sugumi's eyes on their side. Ah, her clairvoyance. We can't let our guards down. We'll try to rendezvous back with you after we throw them off our trail. 
You should still be careful, though. Copy that. Contact us if anything happens. Sorry, guys. Due to the extinction belt, I can't track Yuito Platoon. Well, there's nothing we can really do about that. We just have to finish this annoying work first. We managed to get one truck unloaded. They all look like the same boxes. Huh. <sighs> Shiden, what's wrong? Are you tired? What? No, I'm not tired. I was just curious what this cargo was. That's it. Damn. What are you doing? You can't unlock private cargo just because you're curious. No, it just unlocked on its own. <sighs> what is it? Did you find an other inside or something? Look. Hmm? What is it? Th this is... A human head? This one too. All of these cases, they're filled with heads. What are they going to use them for? Wait... Food? Naomi said she takes the medication in the ampules. These are probably used to research the other weapons. Or maybe... No, I shouldn't be tossing around any theories at this point. So, basically, these human heads are being transported from Togetsu? That researcher mentioned getting the lab ready. We might be able to find something if we search the facility. We're not done unloading the truck, but I can't stop thinking about this. Let's go check out where he went. Really do hate this place. The stench is just awful. I was right. It can't be. Oh, it definitely is. Others feed on human brains, and this facility houses others, and... Ampules! How could... these ampules... but that means Naomi... Intruders were just detected coming in from the facility's rear entrance. I've also received an update on our assignment from Seiron. The intruders are Yuito Sumeragi and new Himuka OSF members, and we are to eliminate them, no matter what. Damn it! Of course they've come now. Seems like Seiron really wants Yuito dead. They must be desperate to eliminate the threat the Kunad Gate poses. Eliminate them. What are you going to do, Kasane? We should kill him. To save the world. But I know I haven't been listening to anyone else. So maybe Yuito wants to talk to me, like all of you did. <gasps> Wait, one more thing. If we refuse this assignment, they said they would dispose of the research subjects in order to bury the evidence. <sighs> so they're taking Naomi as a hostage. Yeah. And knowing that Naomi is your one soft spot, I probably would have done the same if I were them. But can they really do that? She's still an important research subject to them. And there's no way Major General Karin would let them. He didn't want Yuito to be assassinated. That may be true, but that still doesn't prove that Karin would protect Naomi. Although I can't picture him treating human-born others like mere objects, either. However, this assignment came to us officially, which means there's a chance it came with Karin's approval. They could also be bluffing. What's important isn't whether or not they're bluffing. It's how certain we are they won't harm Naomi. That's... And it doesn't help that we've already failed one assassination attempt. This response seems natural if they suspect we have ulterior motives. It's not like we can break Naomi out and take her with us. Does that mean we have no other choice but to fight Yuito? Hmm. Let's hide. Are you serious? Naomi is in danger! I know, but fighting them out in the open wouldn't be smart. We should hide in the next area and ambush them. That would give us an excuse to leave here and would buy us some time to think. Haruka, report our plan to them. We'll lie in wait for the intruders and stand by for an opportunity to attack. Copy that. Good luck. Yuito Platoon is headed to the factory block as predicted. They will arrive in 30 seconds. We've been ordered to send the control system data to Seiron after we make contact with Yuito. 
In other words, they'll be monitoring your conversation. Be careful. Understood. Yuito Platoon arriving in five, four, three. What is this facility? It looks like some sort of assembly line. Hey, those boxes. Aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw? <laughs> what is it, Sugumi? Does it contain what I brought earlier? A human head. You've got to be kidding me. All of these? What in the world is this place? What do you want to do? Have you gotten your thoughts together yet? There are no thoughts to get together. I don't have a choice. It's only an issue of resolve. So, we have to fight. That's our assignment. Besides, if we let Yuito leave now, the public will find out about this place, and the ampules. Then they might stop all the research. What would become of Naomi if that happened? Either way, our only choice is to kill Yuito. Have you thought about what the ampules contain? Of course I have. But to be honest, just thinking about it won't solve anything. Well, we have your answer. Just listen to yourself. We should just tell them everything. Yuito will understand. He's way too forgiving. We should take advantage of that. And then what? That would mean going against Seiron. If you have a way to save Naomi, then tell me. I never said... Okay, calm down, you two. What about fighting to a draw? We can just tell Seiron that we had to be careful we didn't damage this very important facility. Or something along those lines. Knowing the strength of Yuito Platoon, we should be able to convince the government that we tried our best, but couldn't beat them. However, they would get suspicious if they completely overpowered us. We'll have to fight like we mean it. This is the best idea I've got. I can go along with that. That's fine with me, too. Guys, you need to make contact with Yuito Platoon soon. Let's go. Seiron will start to get suspicious if we wait any longer. Those ampules! I think... I'm going to be sick. This can't be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. Looks like Kyoka couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already. F this is Spring Pharmaceutical Seiron Factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Seiron government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait, let's talk. Hey! First you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me? Now you're trying to hide this cruel place? Don't you feel anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking? I might get burned if I don't do something. I thought you were amazing since you were a cadet design. But now you're trying to kill Yuito and trying to hide this facility? I need your help. It's up to you. What happened to you? This isn't like you. Shut up. You don't know anything about anything. Then tell us. We don't know anything because you won't tell us anything. Huh? <laughs> 
close. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> Group now. Here. I didn't need your. Drugs out of human heads is crazy. We have to stop them. But Naomi, she needs this. What do you mean? What is this facility for? That's. You are not authorized to divulge any more information. Are you the government official from before? 
I'm sorry, I was ordered to patch him through. Please focus on eliminating the target. We promise you fair compensation for your efforts. By compensation, you do mean Naomi's safety, correct? I want a clear answer that'll stay on the OSF transmission record. Uh, well... Why aren't you answering? My bet is because you made this call on your own, without Major General Karn's permission. There's been a change in plans. I am canceling your assignment. Await your next orders. Communication with Ceyron has been disconnected. We're not being monitored anymore. I can't take this anymore. I'm telling them everything. No, I will. This place is an other research facility run jointly with Spring Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of people with powers are being brought here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. The rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. That's horrible. Hey, are you really sure about Seiron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Seiron causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others or processing the brains into drugs? No, we can't, obviously. That being said, there are in fact some people who've been forced to accept it. Like my brother. And then there's Kasane. People whose loved ones have been turned into others. They depend on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication. Even letting them talk. Does Karin have a family member that's been metamorphosed? No, not a family member. Has Luca or Fabuki mentioned it? Alice? His brain is... <laughs> Yuito! Yuito? <sighs> Are you okay? What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. I'm sorry. I heard from Haruka. It seems like a lot happened while we were gone. If Yuito and his team left, shouldn't we be checking on a certain someone? That's right. Naomi! I'm coming, Naomi! Naomi! Great. We'll go check and see how Naomi's doing. What about you guys? Where are you? We're close by, so let's meet up at Naomi's room. <laughs>